guys, what's good? It's been a couple of days since I've done some recording. We're out here. Jay-Z's still on the floor. Sean Zebo's still in the garage. We're trying to get all the charge piping done. I got a couple of things welded. Um, our buddy John Pru, you know, I'll put a little bit of a thing here to uh, put his Instagram at one low RX or one low WRX, whatever. Uh, he welded up some pipes for me. Uh, not my intercooler piping, but some of the charge piping. And so I did the IACV delete. And I also got my coolant bung welded on. I had them welded another shop first and it didn't come out the way I wanted it. So over the weekend we had to play around with that and get it redone. Now John's a good buddy of mine, we got it done on the weekend so I didn't have time to install it by the time I got back home. Um, so I'm going to get on that today, show you guys all that stuff. For now I'm putting the stock twins back in the car. Uh, I just want to get the car back out and driftable again. Uh, I doubt it'll be by the end of the summer, but hopefully I'll be going back single turbo, well not back, I'll be going single turbo with an HX35 um, or something along those lines. You know, I'm, aim I'm aiming for the 450-500 wheel horse range somewhere around there. Um, should be able to get it, shouldn't be too much trouble. I've already got ARP head studs, 2J head gasket. Um, so with a single turbo, some injectors, fuel pump, ni a nice tune, shouldn't have too much trouble getting that. Now, I'm gonna get uh, get a little bit of work done. I hope you guys don't mind the time lapse too bad. Like it's gonna be, it's gotta be done or else you're gonna have to sit through, uh, you know, about four times the amount of footage if I don't do some time lapse on some of this stuff. And I cut the sound out and add music because whatever we're saying during that time is not important. We're usually just talking. Sometimes we have music on that can't be listened to as copywritten stuff, so. We'll get that all dealt with and, you know, hopefully be back soon. And once again, I'd like to mention FT86Motorsports.com. Best place to order parts in Canada. Uh, absolutely free shipping. You know, you, he'll do price matching. If you want, message Sean or Sylvain K on Facebook. They're awesome guys and you won't find better prices. Once again, FT86Motorsports.com. So on the weekend we were out here working on all this stuff and it turned out that one of the things I got welded, which was my coolant uh, overflow cap, was down on the pipe a little bit too far and by having it down there I couldn't get one of my charge pipes on. So that's why you see some of this gasket maker on here that's dry. It was actually put on there and then taken back off so I got to take all this back off. Um, we re-welded re re this um, once again. I'm gonna link, you know, buddy's name right here, John Pru, one low WRX. Anyways, besides that, we got this, you know, put back on, on point, and um, he had to repatch where the other guy had put it too low, which is fine. I'm happy, with, I'm very happy with the welds that John did. No problems there. Now, the other thing I did, over here, I'm gonna try and get it to focus if I can. Right here, this used to have a hole in here to go to the stock uh, diverter valve, I guess, or recirculator valve. Um, that there, and right here on this pipe, which has a proper block off plate, they used to connect together for the stock blow off valve. It's not actually a blow off, but same same concept it just recirculates there instead of lets it events to atmosphere now that was one thing so that was blocked off uh, by the other guy now besides that i also had john close this off for me this is the uh, stock port for the icb valve so the idle air control valve iac yeah anyways so that goes normally over to, I'll try and move some of this stuff so you guys can see, over to here, which I made a block off plate the other day. So that's blocked off here. I'm just going to run no IACV since last year um, it pretty well wasn't even hooked up and I was, I was fine without it. And it makes it a lot easier to get the wiring on and off and it's one less thing to worry about. So that's going to stay off for now. Now basically I'm going to get to work on this and you guys will be stuck with some time lapse so talk to you guys later and uh, I'll touch base before I end the video.
Hope you guys enjoy watching. Got a, I just got to get a clamp for this coolant line, and then it goes on there. Um, other than that, all the charge pipes back on. I know some of you are definitely going to say something, but the fact that I'm using gasket maker on absolutely everything, um, the only reason I'm using it is I've had nothing but good luck with it. Um, it's a lot cheaper, it's fast, and when you're drifting, you don't have time to replace gaskets every single time you blow a gas. That you, you take a part off and put it back on, that kind of stuff. And I'd prefer just to use a uh, more gasket maker every time than I would to reuse old OEM gaskets. So it just makes more sense for us to have this. Now, if you're gonna follow what I'm doing and use gasket maker, one thing I'd say is don't buy the little handheld tubes. They're, they're great, but in a jam. But if you plan on being able to use it a lot more, or if you use it a lot around the shop, buy the tube for a caulking gun. It's about double the price, but you get way, way more in the tube. Plus you can reseal it a lot easier so it doesn't dry out. Now the stuff I'm using is Ultra Copper by Permatex. Um, this stuff here, it's the highest temp you can actually get. Uh, I don't screw around with the cheap, uh, cheap brands or with the stuff that's not uh, for high temp. I use the highest temp on absolutely everything. Um, you know, they're all oil resistant, they all say the same shit, except this one here is the higher temp one. Now the actual temperature this is good for is um, up to 600 Fahrenheit, which is pretty good, 316 degrees Celsius. And it's as good, good for as low as minus 45 Celsius or minus 65 Fahrenheit, which is great. It's uh, high performance, sensor safe, non-corrosive, Superior oil resistance, OEM specified, and excellent adhesion. Once again, I've had no issues with it, so I'd say, you know, what the hell, go ahead, use it. Now, I wanna show you guys a few things. Everyone's probably wondering what this thing is that I have hooked up on the wrong side of the motor, and it's a power steering reservoir. Now, I've got another power steering reservoir on the other side. You might have seen that in some pictures or videos of my car when it was running last year. The reason why I have this is I haven't got around to changing my water pump for a, for one that um, for one from a 2J with the rear half of the housing. 
Um, this here is a BMW uh, power steering pump that I just have looped with some ATF in it so I don't burn out the um, the hydraulic fan part of the water pump which is garbage but if it burns out I'll end up screwing my water pump too and I don't want that so I just have it looped for now and it works it worked all last year no issues it's ugly but it's temporary now I just want to show everyone I got my new coolant overflow cap well not overflow the overflow comes out of here but I have my new coolant um, fill cap I guess you could say or my uh, swirl pot uh, I'm just really happy because last year I had a really ghetto uh, one from a Dodge Dakota, which it worked, but it's kind of not the best idea. I'll show you guys exactly what it was. It was this here. So basically this last year came out of here and it, ha it was just another cap, so it didn't look as good, plus the fact that you know it's just it's kind of ghetto it's well not kind of it is very ghetto um, it worked but I had a spot for my coolant coolant temp sensor in it this year I'm gonna try and do it differently I'm gonna try and use a BMW coolant temp sensor tapped into the housing here and you know hopefully use my stock gauge if possible you know that's a that's a very high hopes thing but I might still run the aftermarket gauge either way you know run both uh, I've got a few little lines to hook up here and there, and I'm going to probably throw my harness on it tonight. So. Hey guys, so, I'm just here, uh, you know, I'm going to put some of the harness on. Um, I got all the charge piping on. All that I'm waiting to be able to put the transmission on is I need a few bolts. I got some, but uh, they have a sleeve on them, so it's no good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some, uh, some new ones, and... Uh, Okay, there's Sean. Machine gun, Sean. So, I'm gonna get some new ones so I can put the adapter plate on, the transmission on, the engine back in the car. But for now, I can put the uh, the harness on the engine. I've already cut off anything that was absolutely useless. Uh, I should strip apart the harness, but for now, I'm just gonna put it on. I can take it off any other time and do it. So, I'll get it on so it's ready to go in the car. my love.
Okay guys, so the wiring harness is all on. There's uh, one wire over here I gotta fix for the knock sensor, so I'm gonna fix that and then drop it down below. This here, um, I have set up on the BMW firewall, well, shock tower pretty much, stock. There's a location for a positive, and it's uh, just a nut that comes off. So I've actually have it set up that I can use this for my alternator, and then I run a second wire for my starter. Um, now besides that, I've got my wires at the back for my uh, my actual like my actual ECU wires. Everything else is uh, pretty much uh, hooked up. So I, I do need to eventually get a timing cover because I screwed all mine up last year. But everything else is uh, pretty much done on the engine for now. I need to put the uh, put the adapter plate on once I get the bolts. Hopefully I can get them tomorrow maybe. And once the bolts are in, I'll put the transmission on and she'll be ready to drop in the car. I even already did the oil change on it. It's got a new filter and all brand new oil in it. So it's ready to drop in. So if, you, uh, if you've been watching the videos, I hope you've been enjoying them. And I hope you continue to watch all the new episodes. The, uh, the car should be out in the next couple of weeks. And you never know, I might even decide to paint it. We'll see. So thank you very much for watching and uh, please like and subscribe.